Hello out there, and I've got something really cool to share with you guys regarding this Benchmade Apparition number 672. And this is a knife that I just got. I picked it up on eBay about a week ago, and I got it used and beat up. And I didn't know much about this knife because even though it's an Osborne design, and I love so many of Osborne's designs like the 943, the the Barrage, uh, he also did the Proxy, the 940, the 960, the Colgara, I mean everything that Osborne has done has sort of uh, turned to gold. But this wasn't one of the ones by him that I thought I was ever going to pick up. It just didn't seem to be, uh, I don't know, for some reason it just never really was that high on my list and so I didn't learn that much about it. So when I came across this at a price I couldn't refuse on eBay and picked it up, I had a lot to learn about the knife. And I didn't even know that it was assisted opening. And that was a little bit of a disappointment because, uh, like a lot of people out there, I don't really love assisted opening knives. It doesn't bother me that much, but just about every knife that I own that's assisted, I always think, yeah, that'd be better if it was manual. Just about every one. You know, the assisted opening mechanism does nothing for me. And in a lot of cases, if I can de-assist a knife, uh, I will, at least to see how it would work. And then we go from there. And... Uh, that's what this knife does so well is it's called the Apparition Optimizer because this knife is designed to be de-assisted. And it's worth talking about in this day and age because this is just extremely smart, innovative technology that no one's using anymore. Um, I don't really know of, of any knives that are current that are doing stuff like this. And so, yeah, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the knife and uh, go through how exactly you de-assist it because it is just, yeah, it's just interesting and simple and, and pretty genius. All right, so let's talk about this real quickly. Uh, D2 tool steel on this 672 and G10 handle scales. There is a 670 version that comes in 154 cm and has like a stainless steel bolster, a little bit classier looking and I think that one, if you're trying to find them on, you know, like eBay or just like the secondary market, since they're all discontinued, I think that one goes for a little bit more than this one does. And I got this knife for like 60 bucks because uh, it was used and a little bit beat up. And you can actually see down where my uh, middle finger is, a couple of nicks still in the blade, even though I sharpened some of them out. And there were some rust spots that I had to polish out and... Um, all the hardware was originally black, the clip was black, and I had to strip those down and polish them and put a little time into making this thing, uh, you know, back to a uh, to working order and getting it into good shape, but it was definitely worth the time, and in the process of doing that, I learned about this assisted opening mechanism, which is so very cool. So, when it comes to assisted opening mechanisms, there's really two things, at least that I know of. Um, two ways of designing a knife. One of them, if you take like the Kershaw Leak or most speed safe knives, they're all just running on like little torsion bars and springs, you know, that are nested in the liners and you have this uh, opening mechanism that it's very functional, it works well, holds up decently well over time and use and even though it will eventually need to be replaced, um, it's protected because it's housed behind a liner and yeah, I mean, I like it. It's my preferred assisted opening, to be honest. The the type of assisted opening I don't like that much is with big bars that run across the length of the whole knife, like this. You can see it right there in the middle of the knife. And here is a CRKT Radic, sort of has the same thing. I'm not really a fan of that action. It just feels different. It isn't as smooth and crisp as I guess speed safe can be when it's at its best. So I've just never been a huge fan of that. And um, I'm always, like I said, looking to, uh, to de-assist a knife if possible. And the thing that makes this one, this Osborne design, so genius is the fact that you can de-assist this knife in about 10 seconds without taking it apart. So check this out. That's it. It's de-assisted. Just like that. Because this knife is designed to be de-assisted. And it's designed for you to have that option. And it's not something you see very often, but now check it out.
Flicks open real nicely with the thumb stud. Centering is still great. Lockup is perfect. The only somewhat negative is that the D10 isn't great. Now it's not like shaking out. I'm sure if I shaked hard enough it would. But if you like a manual knife, it's still super, super smooth. Yeah, and really easy to uh, to do. So I don't really know what kind of situation you might be in in your life where <laughs> you need to assist and de-assist your knife, maybe for legality reasons, depending on where you live, if you, if you like having it, but then in certain places you can't have it. I don't know. But it's really nice to have that option. And... To put it back together, you know, you just have to loosen this screw a little bit. Yeah. Maybe loosen it just a little bit more to give clearance to the bar. But there you go. You just push the bar all the way back in. Tighten your screw. And we've got assisted opening. Isn't that something? And to think all the people in this day and age who love manual knives, you know, and who see these designs that have assisted opening mechanisms, and all these people, and we can't get more knives like this. And I guess if you're gonna make a manual knife anyway, then maybe there's no need for it uh, for someone like me who doesn't really care about assisted opening. But man, just cool technology and clever and easy to use and maintain and, and actuate. And it's one of those things where it makes you think, maybe I'm getting old because I, I like the way that old things are being done more than new things. I don't know, but this is just yet another Benchmade model that probably shouldn't have been discontinued. Another great Osborne design. It's another great knife. Yeah. I'll tell you what, um, maybe for a hundred bucks plus out there, there are better knives. Uh, but if you see this at the $60, $70 that I paid for it, you're getting a deal. You are getting a deal because it's just a good knife overall as well. So that's really it, guys. Uh, didn't want to go too far in detail about the blade. Uh, if you have any questions about it, definitely let me know. But I did just want to show off that uh, that opening mechanism and just what makes this so uh, so special. So anyway, any other questions, comments, complaints, suggestions, you know where to reach me down below. But I will talk with you soon. Take care and have a good one.